this is my first video in 2020, a little bit late but happy new year for everyone. 2 days ago I have received one of my most awaited notification, the official Android 10 and One UI 2 update for the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. I've been using this phone since day 1 and the refreshing experience is what I'm waiting for, at least not to feel left behind by the Note 10. So in this video I will break down the new features coming with this official update. I'll put it in these 3 main categories changes in design and user interface, changes in productivity features, and new functionalities. So the first thing to notice after the update is the new One UI design. Now we get new smooth animations for opening and closing apps, more like on the iPhone. They add a lot to the user experience. Also, the new Android 10 gestures are here, swiping button up for recent apps and from the sides to get back and from the bottom corners to open the assistant. Everything works smoothly at the moment. In case you want to keep it the old way, Samsung always gives you the options. Some general design changes that you can easily see are the bolder lines, whether in battery stats or in the media control sliders, and also new edge lighting animations. Folders design is also updated to follow the One UI streamline. And now you can also change the icon shape without the need for a launcher. That's hidden in the developer options. You can choose from square to teardrops icons, but that will only be applied on third party icons, not Samsung ones. But I think they look ugly anyway. I'll keep the default ones. Now let's move to productivity and well being. We're finally getting an upgraded digital well-being. A new cleaner graph is here to show you how much time you've spent on every app, how many unlocks and notifications you have received. While you can also set a limit timer for app usage. Once that predefined time is up, a notification will let you know to stop using it. While the app icon will turn grey on the home screen. This way you will not be able to open it again. Samsung also introduced focused mode on the same menu. For example, in work mode, you can set the phone to block all app usage except the one you authorize. You can launch this mode from the notification panel and also customize your own mode. Another well-being related feature is wind down. You can schedule it to be activated when you go to bed or the display will run with grayscaled colors to help your eyes fall asleep and make using your phone less attractive. Parental control is also here in case you have kids. Talking about productivity, if you're into Samsung DeX, now it is also supported using a simple USB cable on the Note 9. No special DeX station or pad are needed, just plug and go, but you still need the Samsung DeX app on Windows or macOS. Some different cool stuff were also added to the productivity experience. Things like writing on Samsung calendar like on the Note 10 and also putting custom stickers and emojis on each calendar day. So what about the new things you can do with the Note 9? Well, there are a couple. Now screen recording is supported as a built-in feature and you can launch it from the notification panel. You can at the same time use the selfie camera to record yourself and record writing on the screen. This is useful for quick tutorials on your phone. Link to Windows is also here. In case you're using a Windows laptop, you can use it to access your phone's photos and receive notifications on your laptop. It is like the Samsung Flow app, which I prefer more at this stage. The new built-in video editor that was introduced on the Note 10 is now here with this update. You can select videos and photos from your gallery and create a video. It is not an advanced tool, but good enough for simple Instagram stories with basic transitions and texts. Some other minor updates are also here, like the new cleaner camera app design, the new improved AR emojis that looks more cartoonish like Apple's emojis, to the ability to control the YouTube video slider from the notification panel. So these were the main changes. Tell me in the comment section if you have already received the update and in that case, what are the new features you're enjoying the most and what are the things that I might have skipped to mention in this video. 
thanks for watching and catch you guys in the next one.